In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you're going to learn how to create PDF flipbooks like the one you're looking at right now. Customers or readers are able to read your ebook in a more interactive way. And the best part is you can actually embed YouTube videos or other videos right on your flipbook. So if you wanna learn more, keep watching this video. Hi, my name is Aurelius and on this channel, I share my tips, tool reviews and tutorials to help you scale your business with online tech. So if that interests you, be sure to subscribe below and turn on notifications too, so you don't miss a thing. What I'm going to walk you through is how to create a flipbook just like the one you're looking at right now, right? So when I click on the page here, turning page, or I can go at the corner here, and just keep scrolling where I want. This is an interactive flipbook where your customers can go and read your ebook on the web. And it's also responsive as in it can also be viewed on a mobile device such as an iPad or iPhone. There are only two tools that you'll need. Number one is Canva and number two is Hazine and both which are free to sign up and register for. So what I'm going to do is open one of my existing eBooks here that I've already created. Now, if you haven't designed or created your eBook yet, I've got a ton of videos on how to create one from scratch and I'll link up a card right here to one of them and other ebook tutorials in the description below. So go check that out. Once you've designed your ebook like this one right here, this is about 10 pages and this is more like a lead magnet or a bribe that I usually give away when someone opts into my email newsletter. It's called map out your online course in 30 minutes or less. And by the way, if you do want a copy of this, uh, it's free. Look down in the description below for a link to that. Now here's where the magic happens. On the top right corner, you'll see the three dots. Click that icon. And what you search for is hazing, all right? So once you click that, you'll need to actually connect your hazing account uh, with Canva, but they do allow you to create a flipbook uh, without having to register, but it'll be deleted after a week. So it's a good idea to actually sign up for a free account uh, to Hazine so that you can actually save it. Once you've registered, all you need to do is then select the pages that you want in your flipbook. And I'm just going to select all pages, click on save. Now it's preparing the design. And now it says your design has been saved. There's a link at the bottom. Now you may overlook this, but in case you you know don't see it, you can always go to the hazing dashboard anyway. But it's taken me directly to that flipbook that I just created. And this is what it looks like by default. We've got the ebook here, and right away I can preview it and see how it is going to work in the eyes of a, a reader. On the left, you'll see the editing uh, panel. And what I can do is uh, change the flipbook settings, first of all, add a title, subtitle, description. And then next is a page effect that I can use. Uh, the default one here is a magazine effect where you see, if I go over, that's the magazine effect. If I choose book, rather, and you'll see it just completely flips like, like that. So depending on what effect you want, this is where you can change it. But I'm just going to choose magazine. I think that's a cool effect. Some other settings that you can do, show page uh, show page shadow, uh, shadow effect or show page depth. So these are extra effects that you can add to your flipbook to make it maybe pop out a bit more. Double page on mobile. So you can also activate that on a mobile device. So there's double pages on a mobile device rather than a single page. Uh, I'll turn that off. 10 pages uh, from left to right or right to left, I guess, if you wanna do that. Change the background as well, the default one here. It's using this blue background, but I'm just going to change it to, let's say like a monochrome color one since it matches with this particular uh, flipbook. I'll close it. Next up where it says logo, this is a, a way to add your own logo. I believe it's at the corner here where it says powered by Hazen flipbooks. Now you do need to purchase uh, flipbooks to remove the Hazing logo and add your own if you wish. But what I mean by the logo, or I guess what Hazing means by the logo, let's go back to the flipbook and you can see the corner here where it says Hazing flipbooks. So Hazing does have some paid subscriptions that you can uh, subscribe to and it says no watermarks, but I think what, I, what they mean by no watermarks is actually on the flipbook, on your content. But it says uh, to remove the actual logo this here, that's not a watermark, I guess. So in order to get that removed or add your own, you need to subscribe to one of their plans. And just very quickly, these are the plans that you see. 
on the free plan, you can create up to five free uh, flipbooks uh, on the standard $39 per year, unlimited conversions, unlimited flipbooks. And on the $89 plan, everything that standard has, except there's, I guess, professional support, uh, analytics integration, and custom flipbook URL and subdomain if you want to host it on your own domain. Going back to the editor, here are some other editing options that you can uh, play around with. We've got controls. Do you want to enable the download button when someone actually goes to your flipbook? So it's right here on the corner where it has that cloud icon. And this gives the ability for your reader or customer to download the flipbook. All right, next up, we've got password protect. This may be a very handy feature, especially if you're selling your flipbook ebook. And in order to password protect your ebook, you can click the password protect option right here. There are a couple of options that Hazen offers you, such as a one password for everyone or password protection disabled or one password per user. Now, take a look at one password per user first. This will give you the option to only allow access to your flipbook to those on the access list. So all you need to do is click the plus icon, add a username or an email address, and then add a specific password for that user. Now, if you want the same password for everyone, which in most cases you'll use, is set it right here where it says one password for everyone, set that password, and then where it says text asking for password, this is just a description uh, that says, enter the password that you were given after you purchased or something like that. So I'll say, enter the password you were given after checkout. All right, so I'll add that, click save, and that's all done for password protect. Now, Hazine does have some extra editing options that you can add, such as a link, picture, video, or a website. Now, what you can do is actually embed a video directly on your flipbook. And this is one of the most asked questions, I guess, that I've received on my YouTube channel. What you can't do, of course, is once you save it as a PDF document, you can't really have your video embedded and play directly on your uh, PDF document. I did try it and gave it a test, but it doesn't really work. So what you can do instead is actually get them to interact on your flipbook directly. I'm just going to flick through one of the pages where I can add a video. So I'll just click on video. And now it says click and drag to select an area in your page and then click stop editing once you're done. Now on my cursor here, like my mouse, I can actually drag an area where I can add that interactive video, right? So I'll just select right here. And then now it says paste the YouTube video link. So what I'm going to do is go to my YouTube channel right here. I'm just going to choose this specific video here where it says how to create an ebook in Canva. And I'll click on share. And then I'll copy this link right here and go back to my flipbook right here. And I'm going to paste it in. There are some other options like you can upload your video directly to uh, Hazine, but I haven't tested this. So there are player options as well, uh, such as show player controls. And we've got uh, muted video or automatic play when I guess when they flip through that uh, specific page. But I'm just gonna close it for now, just choose show play options. And there it is right there. So when they actually go to this page, they can play this specific video. So we're not done yet. We actually have to save this and click on stop editing. So click stop editing once you're done embedding your video picture or link. And as you can see now, I can play the video directly on the flipbook. Next up, once you've saved your flipbook, the next stage is how do you share your flipbook with others, your readers or your customers? Simply click on reader links at the top here. And from here, you're given the direct reader link. This is the link that you want to give to your customers or readers. Now, Hazen do offer other embed options. So if you have a website where you want to embed this flipbook directly on your site, or more so promote or click, uh, have your customers click this image thumbnail to then be taken to your flipbook, you can do so. Simply choose one of the options such as a simple link with thumbnail, a flip link with title and subtitle. So this is where it's taken from your settings under title. It adds the title and subtitle here. Since I didn't add anything, it hasn't added anything to the 
title and subtitle area. You can also do iframe embed, which doesn't quite make sense for me since you don't want to embed your uh, your flipbook directly on your website. And this only gives you a, a small window here, which makes it impossible for your customers or readers to actually read your flipbook. Another option, which is a great option, is a QR image. So it's auto generated this QR image. All your customers need to do is, of course, go over that uh, QR code with their uh, mobile device. That they then are taken to your flipbook. So if you wanna choose one of those other options, feel free to, but otherwise use a direct link. And now let's take a look at the flipbook. Here's the first thing that your readers will see, enter the password you were given after checkout. I think I didn't quite add a password. So let's see if that <laughs> that works using a blank password. That didn't quite work. So let's go back and actually add a password in. I'll click on password protect, and then let's add a password. I'll just add password as the password for this. Click on save. And now make sure I click on save changes again. I'll give this page a refresh and let's add that password in. Password and continue. And as you can see, it's loaded up my flipbook. And if I continue on, as you can see, this is the content of my uh, ebook or flipbook more like it. And ta-da, at the end of this flipbook, you saw that I added this embedded this uh, YouTube video. Now I can play it directly on my flipbook, just like so. So there you go, that's how to quickly and easily create a flipbook using Canva and Hazen. If you got value from this video, by all means, hit that like button. And if you're new, subscribe below and turn on notifications too, so you don't miss out on any new tutorials just like this. In the meantime, just stick around to watch these next relevant videos.